Elections in Bangladesh, why does it matter to India? Here's a quick take, your quick guide to one topic. I am Smita Prakash. Four-term Prime Minister of Bangladesh, Sheikh Hasina Wajid, has announced that elections will be held in the country in January 2024. That's about five months before India is expected to go to polls. The announcement for elections within six months has taken most Bangladeshis by surprise. Sheikh Hasina of the Awami League has been in power since 2008. Her main rival, former Prime Minister Khalid Azia of the BNP, has hardly been seen in political or social events. The Battle of the Begums, as elections used to be termed in Bangladesh, has ceased to be that some five years back. Sheikh Hasina is firmly in the saddle and there's hardly any opposition to speak of. The main opposition BNP boycotted the 2014 polls and in 2018 they lost but alleged massive rigging and poll irregularities. A month ago, Prime Minister Hasina accused the Biden administration of wanting to oust her government. Soon, US Secretary of State Antony Blinken announced a new policy, enabling the US to, quote, restrict the issuance of visas for any Bangladeshi individuals believed to be responsible for or complicit in undermining the democratic election process in Bangladesh, unquote. Now, that is an oblique way of saying, no Bangladesh, we, that is the US, don't certify you as a democracy that holds free and fair elections. Mind you, the US does not issue any such statement on the state of, quote, democracy in Pakistan with regard to issuance of visas. But wait, that's another story. Let's get to where we started. Why are elections in Bangladesh of importance to India? One, the country is our eastern neighbour. We have 2,545 miles international border, the fifth longest border in the world. Political and economic stability in Bangladesh has direct impact on India's security and regional stability. Bangladesh shares borders with the Indian states of Assam, Mizoram, Tripura, Meghalaya and West Bengal. Historically, we were one nation before the partition in 1947 when this region became East Pakistan. And then in 1971, India fought alongside the Mukti Bahini Jodhas, or warriors, for the liberation of East Pakistan and the birth of Bangladesh. So historically, the country has links with India since its inception and even before. As does the family of the current Prime Minister, her father Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, who was seen as a hero by Indians. His daughter Sheikh Hasina lived in India when her father, her mother, brother, their spouse and children were assassinated in Dhaka. So the links go beyond just politics and economics. Elections and internal security dynamics can impact on regional balance of power, security and migrations. Bangladesh has flirted with radical Islam though its constitution is secular. The 75-year-old Sheikh Hasina has often said that she would like to retire from active politics. But as of now, she's the only one who has shown the will to take on fundamentalists with an iron hand. She has cracked down on violent street agitations and terror strikes, which used to be commonplace in Bangladesh. The US sanctioned the Rapid Action Battalion in December 2021 for their alleged involvement in human rights violations and enforced disappearances. This death squad, as they are termed by detractors of the Awami League, have been responsible for keeping radical Islamic groups in check. The 2024 election in Bangladesh is going to be a peculiar one. The US is watching the developments with its own lens and not being led by India on this one. Indian interests so far rested on Sheikh Hasina's shoulders. The BNP and other opposition parties often see Indian intelligence agencies as meddling in Bangladesh's elections by giving tacit support to Awami League. In the next six months, it will be interesting to see how Indian diplomacy wades through the rough seas of elections in its neighbourhood, with the US playing a not-so-inactive role.